In this short video, we're going to give you an overview of the initial release of Simple Home, a toolkit that can be used to expand the capabilities of Crestron Home beyond the conventional boundaries and allow you to employ the power of Simple Windows. This does require familiarity with Crestron's Simple Windows environment, and you'll also need a secondary Crestron processor to host the external program logic. For installations being upgraded to Crestron Home from an earlier Crestron system, the existing processor would be ideal for this. The purpose behind Simple Home is to provide access to devices and control which would otherwise be difficult or impossible solely with the Crestron Home product. To accommodate this, we have two primary elements. The first is a host communications process that runs within Simple, and this is added to any Simple Windows program for 3 or 4 series by dropping in the Crestron Home Integration Host Module. For most cases, the parameters can be left at their defaults. On its own, this does nothing, but we then add the basic integration module for each subsystem we wish to control from Crestron Home. In this simple example, we're going to add a few modules into the program just to give a flavour of what is possible. First, we'll add a simple gate control. We'll imagine a device that is controlled via simple HTTP requests and has a function to open the gate momentarily and another to hold the gate open. We add in a basic integration module and define a single action with the label open. We can then link the action event to the control to open the gate. If the gate provided feedback, we could also drive an icon on the action button to indicate the current state of the gate. In this example, we'll just use a static gate icon taken from the Crestron icon library which is provided in the driver SDK documentation. We then define a toggle button with the label hold open and link the button state to the hold release controls of the gate. The current state can also be fed back into the button so that it remains synchronized with the physical gate. Next, we'll add a lighting virtual keypad. This will have four actions labeled bright, relax, reading, and off. Each action will act as an interlock in the simple program and will use the state to drive an appropriate icon for the selected scene. The actions will also drive a few presets which will be connected to some lighting level sliders. Each action, button, or slider is enabled when it has a label assigned. So here we have three circuits called spots, wall, and table lamp. To make these sliders lighting toggle sliders, we need to specify this in the module parameters. We're going to hook this up to existing logic that we've already prepared, but this is just for the demonstration. It could easily connect to one of the legacy lighting systems that isn't supported natively by Crestron Home. The last example will demonstrate the other form of slider. This will be a hypothetical irrigation system with a toggle button to turn it on and off and a basic slider that will set the flow rate. Now that we have the simple program complete, we can compile and upload that to the secondary processor and turn our attention to Crestron Home. The second half of the communication is the Crestron Home driver. We've already side-loaded this onto the processor, but this will also be made available via the Crestron driver portal so it'll appear directly within Crestron Home under Platform, Ultimation, Simple Home. All you need to do is add the core driver to Crestron Home point it to the secondary processor and ensure that you have a valid license for the Crestron Home processor to maintain operation beyond the hour trial period. Once connected, Crestron Home will query Simple for the configured devices and populate them in the child device folder. You can then move these devices into the appropriate rooms within Crestron Home and you will instantly see them appear in the Crestron Home UI. And that's it, you're done. You can now control the simple program and any devices and logic associated with it simply by pressing the UI tiles. Each tile also exposes a set of programmable operations and events for feedback so that you can further integrate the system via Crestron Home sequences and actions. Let us know how you use Simple Home to integrate cool things into Crestron Home. This is just the beginning of a very exciting addition to the ecosystem that really does extend the capabilities in directions that previously couldn't have been possible. Thank you for watching.